rescuers in Washington state are still calling it a rescue mission after a deadly mudslide north of Seattle Saturday. In a news conference Saturday, officials said they could still hear victims crying for help from underneath the mud, prompting rescuers to stay and try to get those people out. First responders say the mudslide destroyed at least six homes and damaged more than a dozen others. King reports at least three people are dead and at least eight others are injured, including a six-month-old baby. The baby, a 58-year-old man and an 81-year-old man, remain in the hospital in critical condition following the mudslide. A deputy with the Snohomish County Sheriff's Office told reporters on the scene it's the worst natural disaster he has seen since the Mount St. Helens eruption nearly 35 years ago. The damage is so bad it's backing up the nearby Stillaguamish River. Now there are fears the damage could bring another disaster, flooding. Officials say the river could rise up to a foot every half hour until it's unclogged. Now the area is under a flood warning as the river level rises. Officials in Snohomish County have issued an evacuation notice for nearby residents to move to higher ground, but because of Washington state law, officials can't issue a mandatory evacuation. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrews.